podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV. A treetop camera at one popular North Carolina state park is giving the world its first seasonal glimpse into the day-to-day -day activity of an eagle family. Producer Heather Burgess and videographer Mike O'Connell show us why this project, led by North Carolina State and the Army Corps of Engineers, has become a fun and popular way to bring science and conservation to the masses. There seems to be something very appealing about watching uh, something in the natural world. The beauty of Jordan Lake is something many enjoy in person, but the use of wireless technology gives millions in North Carolina and beyond an eagle's eye view into the world of an eagle family. Just a tremendous amount of interest in watching these birds. Dr. Ted Simons is a professor of biology at NC State. For years, he's brought his ornithology classes to study the eagles at Jordan Lake. He quickly realized most of his students had no idea these majestic birds were nesting in the state. We were kind of surprised that the students, many of the students didn't know that there were eagles in central North Carolina and that they certainly that they were nesting on Jordan Lake. And it got us wondering how many people in the area really realize what a tremendous success bald eagle conservation has been over the last 25 years, that these birds have been restored from a relic population back in the 60s. They were just about exterminated. Uh, in the southeast and have now grown back to over 100 breeding pairs in North Carolina and there are currently about five breeding pairs on Jordan Lake. In hopes of educating and creating awareness for the eagles, Dr. Simons, along with the help of Francis Farrell from the Army Corps of Engineers, hatched a plan to install a camera to monitor the eagles' nest and their eaglets during the breeding season from December to late March. First thing we had to figure out was how far we could transmit the signal and where we could get it on the internet. We had an adjacent property owner who volunteered to help us do that and so we set up our receiving station across the lake at their house and had a DSL line put in. To transmit the signal, former student and now arborist Brent Leinberger climbed the tree to install the camera. The camera runs on batteries charged by solar panels. A class of engineering graduate students at NC State work to get the Eagle video up and streaming live on the internet. Once online, the dramatic response to the Eagle cam caught everyone by surprise. We've been amazed at the level of interest in watching the nest. I think one thing that helped us is this nest was one of the first, of all the Eagle cameras out there, this nest was the first one to actually hatch our eggs. So we were kind of the first in the country and I think we got a lot more exposure because of that. Especially something as dramatic as a bald eagle nest where we're following these birds for five months during their breeding season from the time they return to the nest until the chicks fledge as they will in the next few weeks. Uh, you get a perspective on, on nature that you, you don't normally have. For two seasons, millions have watched this eagle pair tend to their eggs and once hatched, bring food to their eaglets and nurture them until they fledge got this Facebook site for it and we get a great response there. Um, people are on there, some people get on there every day, you know, 10 times a day to kind of report what they're seeing and it's allowed us to kind of turn it into a, this citizen science project and we've been trying to kind of capture what people report. You know, it still takes my breath away. I've seen hundreds now um, and just to watch them, I put the camera down and just watch them soar. Photographer Denise Warden captures images of the eagles around Jordan Lake. Her sister first told her about the online eagle cam and she was captivated by what she saw. It was actually the first time I'd ever seen an eaglet <laughs> and seen, um, seen the eggs hatch and you know learned an awful lot too just every time through all the stages. Last season Professor Simons reported six million hits on the Ustream site with over 3,000 likes on the Eagle Camp's Facebook page. A community of citizen scientists gather to watch this amazing story of nature unfold. I think a camaraderie that happens with the chat going on and it's really addictive. <laughs> you know, I'm not a bird person, but I'll sit and watch that camera and, you know, we watch it 
when the sun's going down and all you can see is the shadow of the white head in the, of the adult in the nest. All involved with this project hope it sparks a greater awareness of the conservation efforts decades ago that brought bald eagles back from the brink of extinction. Knowing that they were almost extinct, so seeing them makes it even that more special. It was a long process. It took 25 years for us to get back to this point, but otherwise we wouldn't have bald eagles in the southeast, probably in nearly the numbers that we have today. The eagle chicks should fledge and try to leave the nest towards the end of March. Last week, the eagle cam experienced a problem with its transmission, and the team now streams the progress of the eagle family on a three-day delay. They're hoping to fix the equipment problems in time to stream live for next year's breeding season. You can learn more by going to our website. Podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV.